This is Carl. He's a 19-year-old drama student who had a previous passion for football. Carl came out at 16 years old. Since then, he's found it difficult to participate in sports such as football. When I was younger, I, I enjoyed the outdoors and being outside, so football was always a great way to get out there and an excuse to go to the park and stuff, and especially during the summer when it's you know, sunny. When I was younger, I was part of a sort of youth football group, and uh, yeah, I just never really felt sort of included or sort of no one sort of like really tried to include me while, while during like, playing or anything or. And like in, in sort of the locker room, there was always sort of the odd comment or odd sort of like weird look or anything. So I never felt sort of one with sort of the team or so yeah, that's always a great sort of that will put, put me off sort of keep kept going. So eventually I sort of stopped showing up. According to a recent survey, 47% of people said that they'd heard homophobic abuse at matches. That means that even in 2017, people aren't being treated equally, especially when it comes to fans and football. The Gay Football Supporters Network was established in 1989 and is an organisation that provides a safe environment for LGBT football players. We're still a long way off solving the issue of homophobia in football. If you look at the issue of racism in football, for example, the Kick It Out campaign, which had a lot of time and money invested in it, has been going for what, over 20 years now and we still have a problem with racism in football. So it would be naive to think that the issue of homophobia is going to go away quickly. 18% of people surveyed said that gay players should keep it to themselves. I think homophobia is still kind of strong in the in sort of communities, but I think it's mainly it, com it comes from the fans really, not so much the media or the stars themselves. I think it comes from fans and all the homophobic slurs and sort of comments that are made and from like in, in like the stands and stuff. Being seen as the gay capital of Britain, Brighton FC comes across a lot of homophobic abuse. This is an installation by a Finnish artist made for the Brighton Pride Festival, with escorted football fans shouting abuse at it. It's abuse like this that Brighton and Hove Albion have to deal with every match. However, there is a team trying to tackle homophobia like this, based in London. They're the East End Phoenix. They've been running for around nine years and have a mix of people who are straight and gay. Today, Carl will be joining the East End Phoenix in a training session. I think to take part in this football team would be so cool to sort of I finally feel included in a team, in a, especially in a sport that I actually enjoy. I think it'd be great to be go back to go back to that sort of sport and hopefully you can like re-spark my old passion for it. It was so cool to play for the gay friendly field. It was like it was so cool to go back to a sport that I loved. It was so cool to be accepted into into this group. It was so friendly, so fun. It was amazing. It was an amazing atmosphere to be back to, you know. Since the training session, Carlos contacted James and has arranged to attend another session soon. This is James. He both manages and plays for the East End Phoenix. Uh, so for me, it was just uh, through friends that I knew that played in the league, and I played a couple of times with them, and you know, really, really enjoyed it, like the social side and everything like that. So yes, probably you know, how I got into the LGBT uh, football league. Although James is straight, he enjoys every minute on the pitch with the gay-friendly football team. Yeah, I think the, the uh, I do feel part of the team, even though I'm a, a, a straight football player. We've got a, a bit of a mixture in with the team, and everyone's made to feel as welcome. There's no uh, barriers or anything like that uh, in the team. You wouldn't have banter about the colour of someone's skin. That's the analogy we try and draw 
um, for people. And so what we say is there should be no banter in terms of someone's you know, sexuality. And that helps people understand because there are no, no grey lines here. What we're saying is it's just simply uh, unacceptable. The goalkeeper of the team is Jason. He came out about eight years ago and being a part of the East End Phoenix has helped his confidence with being openly gay. I decided to play for a gay football team because uh, it's a cool environment, um, everyone's friendly. Um, you still have banter, but the banter isn't like uh, you get at kind of uh, sort of straight kind of teams and stuff like that. It's also a great so social environment. I came out uh, uh, before I joined the football team. Um, once I, I came out, um, I felt comfortable um, approaching the football team uh, and asking if they needed someone to join them to play. But do I think there's um, pressure on pro football that's coming out? Um, I do, yeah. I think there's a great amount of pressure. Um, I think the pressure is uh, simply them being sort of idols. They're big idols in this country and um, people look up to them. So I can sort of imagine for them to come out is a big, massive thing, particularly with all the prejudice uh, at matches. Um, it's still rife, it's still an issue. So uh, I, I think it would be a big pressure on them. Anybody choosing to be openly gay as a Premier football player would know that they'd be under the intense scrutiny of the media spotlight. They'd have to step onto a field where 40,000 fans would know about their sexuality and perhaps want to comment upon it. I'm entirely confident that there are gay Premiership football players. You know, pure statistics tell you that must be right. So, will homophobia ever end in football? Or will it always be a constant presence within the sport? I think that it's going to be a number of years before we're rid of homophobia, if we're ever rid of it. Um, but I still think it's going to be a, a, a real problem for the many years to come. I think there's also an overwhelming support for them to come out, and I believe if someone does come out, I reckon they'll be supported um, much more than they would be uh, prejudiced. Thank you.